further this week, this transformation is, is we're going to swap this out. Units along here, we're going to put toilet here, sink here. Where that toilet is, we're going to put a bath, curb. Then where this shower is, we're going to take that cupboard out. Once we take that cupboard out, we will be putting a corner shower into there. So that shower is going to get moved over there. That toilet's going to get moved over here. In this soil stack here. That's very big boxing in, isn't it? Just for them pipes. You'd think they'd just move them pipes, will not you? Move them pipes instead of boxing it in that much. But we shall do that. Not a problem. So this transformation this week will be beautiful. And it'll be done by MJC Kitchens and Bathrooms. So if you like any work done, get in touch. Now these tiles are stuck straight onto the plasterboard. This is how we've always done it. This is how we'll always carry on doing it unless someone wants to pay the extra for a wet wall. I spoke to this customer and this customer, I told him the difference between them and he's gone for plasterboard. And so, right, this plasterboard, you cannot put, even though them tiles have been dotted on, right, you cannot pull them off without pulling the plasterboard off the wall. Now, if that would have been a wet wall, you would have been able to pull that tile off and the wet wall just stays there. What does that tell you? Which is the strongest one and which ain't the strongest one? But if water gets through here, as you can see, that's the sink. It is absolutely bone dry. Yeah. So it's bone dry. It's bone dry for a reason because the tiles keep it dry. Anybody who tells you otherwise, they are lying to you. I only speak facts, not fiction, and I show you every job. Bish bash bosh. Right, there you go. So we've ripped the ceiling out because that was no good. All the walls off. Coated, ready for tomorrow. Toilet's still good for today. Going to move that tomorrow. It's only so much you can do in a day, lads. It's only so much you can do. But it is looking good. After all that way, say, put a new toilet in here. That can be look tricky, but can't be that hard, can it, lads? Do you know what I mean? Pitch bash bosh. Don't forget to like, share and follow. No, I don't think he knows. I love my job, and now it's both dry. As you can see, it is dry. Oh my god. So, when we have come in here, I thought all this was loose. And as you can see, so when they've done the roof, this roof has been ripped down and put up. They've done the roof and they've ripped the battens out and haven't replaced them with anything. So the only thing that I've been holding it in is a plasterboard. It's a bit mental actually. Is a plasterboard because as you can see there, it was fixed to something at some point. And that, why did they not just get up in loft and put screws back in? After cutting it out, I just don't understand. But we will have to sort it out. And there we go. Look at that. In like a glove. Once I swap this toilet over, we're going to take that out, put a cap on, put a boss on. Bish bash boss. Job done. <coughs> I can't believe how tidy that is. And that is what you end up when you get granite bobbing. Look at that. Perfection. Turn it round and walk me. Turn it round in a day, didn't you, Bob? A few hours. A few hours. Straight on, phone, rung him, give him the measurement, he's come and he's done all that on site. That is why you get granite interiors. Don't forget to like, share and follow. Right, so I've got my waist in. So see this unit here, we're going to have to cut it off, yeah? So what we've done is I've took the unit apart. I'm going to see if I can take that bottom shelf out. And then I'm going to cut the shelf round it. And then I'm going to put the bottom shelf back in. Then I'm going to put the back back in. And in theory, we should not see that pipe. And it should be beautiful. The only thing is, is when you open the door, 
you'll see underneath it. But unless we buy another panel for it, are we going to be bothered? Do you know what I mean? Because when you shut the door, you'll never see it. Bish bass boss, top tip. We've got a very, very busy day. We need to get that shower tray into there. And we want to run the waste underneath the floor. So, we have got an old waste here which comes through in plastic, yeah? Comes through in plastic here, in push fit. And they have got it to here. So, all we have to do is go through one more joist and then we're there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that plastic pipe out. Get rid of it. See this four inch waist here? That's still connected into this drain, yeah? Now, you'd be tempted to keep that, but I, uh, there's just more complications than all else. So, it is better biting the bullet, taking the floor up, cutting that out, bish, bash, bosh, new fittings, boom, boom. Yeah. It's a bit like that, but you can either make it hard for yourself and complications for later on in life. Or you can just bite the bullet and take it out. We'll bite the bullet and take it out. Don't forget to like, share and follow. So, we're going to put the trap in. The shower in. Draw a line where the trap is. And then we're going to work to that line. And then we're going to make miracles happen. And that is why you get MJC kitchen and bathrooms. The old granite is looking absolutely stunning. i got to confess. You don't have to worry about damaging that. That won't damage. I like it like it a lot it's gonna look beautiful once stores are on you see this were always heading for disaster so have you seen how they've cut them off there this is why this always leaked oh, it stinks because it was just holding water and it was going back different attachments that is so heavy And that is why there were always a problem with that. Because there's so many attachments on it. And it were running back into the trap and then it were running down. So it were always a disaster to fail. If you're going to run anything underneath the joist. So I like to go through a joist. Just as long as your joist can handle it. A quarter is good. This is an inch and a quarter pipe. These are, uh, I think, 10 inch joists. I find the tape measure it's big enough anyway. All you can do is just put your pipe on it. If it goes past it four times, it is good. And there we go. Looks a bit different now. Floor's in. All the waste are done. Waste there for the bath. Wait here for the shower. That, in theory, should just come straight up. Boom, straight on. And that's it. It's like a job in town. Just some extra timber there underneath there supporting that. And that's it. Tomorrow, put the train. And then we'll crack on. And then when you're doing all like this, what you want to do is you want to get your square. Make sure your square goes down on it. Make sure it's a direct line, yeah? I've done through the centre of the joist and I've sloped it very minute, right? Make sure you've got three inch and three inch. Six inch of joist you want. Six inch, if uh, your joist has six inch, then you should be running your waist on top of it. Because really there's not enough, there's only a four inch, unless you batten them either side and you bolt them together with a span, you want to be running at least 600 past it, either side, bolt them together. Then you can go through the centre of your six inch joist, but it's very limited because you're only left with four inch after you drill your hole. Four inch, in the olden days when they used to do bungalows, they only had a four inch joist. But they were supported with brick walls. That's where people get confused. The brick walls were supported on four inch, so there's no bounce. If you did it upstairs and there were no support for it, it would bounce like mad. Do you know what I mean? Chances are, uh, some heavy come down, it could start faltering. But if you span it either side, and then you make it a good joist, it's good. But if you got a six inch joist, that's perfect. For building rigs, loft, uh, for um, 
new lofts in lofts now. They use a six inch joist off, uh, off building control and they pass it off. So uh, leaving six inch after you've drilled your old is perfect. <laughs>